How goes it? Today I'm going to show you guys my humble little native tank. Uh, we're going to do something different. Instead of shooting the fish from the outside, we'll shoot it from the inside of the tank. So enjoy. So this tank has actually has a very interesting history. I wasn't going to get an aquarium because you know I keep moving back and forth through different countries. But anyway, I walked out of my house once here in Florida. And it was a 30 gallon tank in the garbage. Well, I was like, I, you know, didn't really feel like getting it. First of all, because it looks kind of silly. It's a 30 gallon tall um, hexagonal tank. And I was like, no, I don't think I'm going to get it. Let it, let it sit in the trash. But I looked closer and it was actually a small pleco that was still alive. It was in a little puddle. Turns out my neighbor had moved. Uh, and so we went a fish tank with a fish. So I was forced to take the damn tank and a placo. Uh, I've had a placo for um, a couple months. Uh, and now I moved back to Europe for about six months. And my roommate was supposed to take care of it. Of course he didn't. And the fish died. When I came back to Florida, uh, I was like, well, I have an empty tank, I might as well, you know, put something in there. So I went out and got some shrimp, some ghost shrimp. Uh, Alright, I just want to say one more thing though. This is, um, the tank is kind of funky too because um, it's a swamp slash uh, oyster reef aquarium. I know, it sounds goofy. Um, so I went out, I got some ghost shrimp, um, and I caught a little crayfish. There he is. His name his name's Raphael. He was extremely tiny. He was probably the size of uh, one of the ghost shrimps. He's a Florida he's a Florida crayfish. Um, so yeah, so I've had that for a while, so it was gonna be just like a swampy type native tank. Um, then I was like exploring one of the canals and I was like, oh, I think I'm gonna grab one of those um, dead oysters as decoration. And to my surprise, uh, I ended up with a bunch of tiny crabs that were inside the decoration. Not decoration, inside the dead oyster, which I didn't even know, you know, I didn't know they were hiding in there. First, I thought they were gonna die because it's, you know, it's pure fresh for a tank. But they're doing fine after a few months, so I was like, ah, oh, well, this is really cool. Oh yeah, by the way, this is my, um, this is American flagfish. Uh, it's a little female, so she's not as colorful. Uh, if it was a male, he would actually look like an American flag. Uh, anyway, so I went out, so I got some more crabs, some more shrimp, and I also ended up catching a freshwater blenny. Uh, it's a feather blenny. Well, I guess it's not true. It's not a true freshwater fish, it's mostly brackish, but it's been doing really well in my uh, freshwater tank. So, what else? As you know, if, I don't know if you've noticed, uh, the tank is filled about only 75% to the top. That's because I have two uh, tiny mangroves. Oh, this is, uh, that's the blame. Uh, I have two mangroves in there, but does, they're not growing that well. I'm guessing it's because I don't have enough light. So everyone seems to be getting along just fine. Um, the shrimps are really cool, uh, and a lot of people think that uh, ghost shrimps uh, don't breed in freshwater. That's not true. I actually had them breed, and the babies developed. Uh, the only difference between uh, ghost shrimp and regular cherry shrimps or crystal red shrimps is that uh, ghost shrimps go through uh, through larval phase. And I actually did see uh, did see a bunch of larvae, which they look like um, cross between a shrimp and a mosquito larva. They kind of float face down on top of the water. Uh, at that time, my flagfish was tiny, so it was just kind of like just hanging out. Now, since it's gotten bigger, it keeps eating the larvae, so I don't really get any new shrimp. But the ones that were born in my tank, there are about two of them. They're getting bigger and bigger. Uh, all right, and the blenny, well, it's hiding right now. The blenny is probably the most interesting fish. 
uh, I was kind of surprised to find it. I broke up uh, Oyster Colony, and there it was. It was inside. Um, it was actually inside a dead oyster. So I took it home. It's like ah, oh, it's doing really well in freshwater. I know ideally you're supposed to keep it in brackish, but it is what it is right now. Eventually, I will. Uh, I'll be getting another fish, another aquarium, and I'll make it a brackish tank and move. But for now, it's gonna stay here because that's all I have. Uh, but anyway, uh, what else do I have? Uh, I don't know if you noticed the crabs. Those are mud crabs. I don't know the species. It's either white tip or Harris's mud crab. They're very amusing little guys. Uh, I can watch them for hours. I mean, they're extremely peaceful. They don't bother anyone. Just stick to themselves. The only ag somewhat aggressive guy is my crayfish Raphael. I've seen him get into fights with uh, with crabs. So other than that, everyone's fine. Oh yeah, and, I mean I only have two fish here: the Blenny and the Flagfish. So that's how it's gonna stay because the tank is kind of small, and you know I don't want to overload it right now. Plus, I'll be leaving to Europe in the next couple months again, so you know. My friend will be taking care of the fish tank for a little bit, not for a little bit, for about three or four months. So I don't want to get any more fish or any other animals. So I'll just enjoy what I have right now. So I hope you guys liked it.